In this video, we are going to discuss about the arterial supply of the cerebral cortex of the brain. So, first we will discuss about the arterial supply of the supralateral surface of the brain. So, we are going to discuss about the arterial supply of the supralateral surface of cerebral cortex of brain. Supralateral surface. We will draw the diagram first. The central surface. We have the parieto occipital sulcus here, superior temporal gyrus, middle temporal gyrus, this is the inferior temporal gyrus. So important point here, this is the parieto occipital sulcus, parieto occipital sulcus. So what you see here is the supralateral surface of the brain. We are discussing about the arterial supply of the cerebral cortex in the supralateral surface. So this is the parietal occipital sulcus which separates the parietal lobe and the occipital lobe. And this is the superior temporal gyrus. This is the middle temporal gyrus. And this is the inferior temporal gyrus. So these four are important while discussing the arterial supply here. And what you see here, this is the frontal pole. This is the temporal pole. This is the occipital pole. Now we are going into the arterial supply here. On the supralateral surface, the main artery which is supplying this surface is the middle cerebral artery. So the three arteries which we are going to discuss here is the um, AC that is anterior cerebral artery, MCA, middle cerebral artery and PCA that is posterior cerebral artery. These are the three arteries which are supplying the cerebral cortex of the brain. So we will discuss about this. On the supralateral surface main artery which is supplying is the middle cerebral artery. Now what is the area of supply of the anterior cerebral artery? The anterior cerebral artery actually supplies an area which is half inch to one inch wide along the supramedial border. So what do you see here? This is the supramedial border. Now take an area which is half inch to one inch uh, width along the supramedial border. This area which is half inch to one inch width along the supramedial border extending from the frontal pole to the parieto occipital sulcus. So an area which is half inch to one inch wide along the supramedial border extending from the frontal pole to the parieto occipital sulcus. So this is the area extending from frontal pole to the parieto occipital sulcus. This is the area supply of anterior cerebral artery.
so this is anterior cerebral artery now uh, the posterior cerebral artery is supplying the occipital lobe so this is the occipital lobe it is being supplied by the posterior cerebral artery occipital lobe is supplied by the posterior cerebral artery and the posterior cerebral artery also supplies the inferior temporal gyrus so inferior temporal gyrus is also supplied by the posterior cerebral artery Ex excluding an area over the temporal pole so this is supplied by PCA that is posterior cerebral artery and the remaining area on the suprolateral surface is supplied by the middle cerebral artery So this is middle cerebral artery. So we see here that the temporal pole is supplied by the middle cerebral artery. So that's all about the blood supply in, on the superolateral surface. So on the superolateral surface, the major area is supplied by the middle cerebral artery. The anterior cerebral artery supplies a small area uh, that is half inch to one inch wide along the supramedial border extending from pondal pole to the parieto occipital sulcus and posterior cerebral artery supplies the occipital lobe and the inferior temporal gyrus excluding an area near the temporal pole so remember that the temporal pole is always supplied by middle cerebral artery middle cerebral artery Now, which is the major artery which is supplying the supralateral surface? Major is middle cerebral artery that is MCA. So that's all about the blood supply over the supralateral surface. Now we go on to the medial surface. Medial surface. We will draw the diagram. So this is the medial surface of the brain and we are discussing about the arterial supply of the cerebral cortex here. So here also see that the occipital lobe, the area of the occipital lobe is supplied by which artery? The area of occipital lobe is always supplied by the posterior cerebral artery. Draw this first. So the area of occipital lobe is supplied by posterior cerebral artery. This much area on the medial surface belongs to the occipital lobe of the brain.
so this is supplied by the posterior cerebral artery now what you see here is the temporal pole this is the temporal pole i have said that the temporal pole is always supplied by which artery that is the middle cerebral artery so the temporal pole is supplied by the middle cerebral artery so this is the temporal pole supplied by the middle cerebral artery now the rest of the area on the medial surface is supplied by the anterior cerebral artery So this is supplied by anterior cerebral artery. So the major artery which is supplying the medial surface, the major artery supplying the cerebral cortex of the brain on the medial surface is anterior cerebral artery, ACA, that is anterior cerebral artery. So remember that the temporal pole is supplied by the middle cerebral artery, occipital lobe is supplied by posterior cerebral artery and the rest of the area is supplied by anterior cerebral artery. So that's all about the blood supply on the medial surface. Now we will discuss about the blood supply on the inferior surface. So on the inferior surface. draw the diagram first So this is the uh, inferior surface and this is a, what you see here is the orbital surface and this is the tentorial surface. Now how is the blood supply here? Uh, first you look at the orbital surface. On the orbital surface we divide it into medial and lateral part. So the medial part is supplied by the anterior cerebral artery. The medial part of the orbital surface is supplied by the anterior cerebral artery. So this is supplied by ACA. And the lateral half of the orbital surface is supplied by the middle cerebral artery. This is supplied by the middle cerebral artery. And the tentorial surface is supplied by the posterior cerebral artery. except an area 
here this is the temporal pole so we know that the temporal pole is always supplied by the middle cerebral artery so an area over the tentorial surface corresponding to the temporal pole is supplied by the middle cerebral artery so on the tentorial surface the temporal pole is supplied by the middle cerebral artery and rest of the area on the tentorial surface is supplied by the posterior cerebral artery So this is supplied by the posterior cerebral artery. So on the inferior surface, the orbit, uh, the medial part of the orbital surface is supplied by the anterior cerebral artery. Lateral part of the orbital surface is supplied by the middle cerebral artery. On the tentorial surface, uh, major part is supplied by the posterior cerebral artery. The temporal pole is supplied by the middle cerebral artery. So that's all about the arterial supply of the cerebral cortex of the brain. Thank you for watching this video. To see more videos on my channel, please subscribe the channel.